What's up everybody? Powell702, back today with a RSA review. So, the Aladdin by Keys? I want to say Keys. It's either Keys or K's. But for some reason I always find these products where I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to go with Keys. So the Aladdin BF by Keys. It's pretty much designed as a squonking atomizer for reasons that I'll show you. Um, so this is probably like two or three weeks ago. You know, I was doing my internet perusing thing that I do now. Um, you know, you know the feeling when you're you got money, right? You just got a paycheck and you don't need anything, but you know you're gonna fucking buy something. It was one of those nights. So I was just going site to site, you know, I had like 15 different windows open with like five things in the cart, and then you kinda, you kinda, you know what I'm talking about, you kinda narrow it down, and you're like, okay, I'm not gonna get that, so you close that window and you close that window. Um, this was the last man standing, and this is a pretty badass little dripper. Not really a dripper, it's an RSA. So! Enough messing around. We are going to go downtown. We're going to go through this Aladdin. Show you how it works. Show you what's in the box. I don't think I've really opened up everything. And then, of course, we're going to throw a build in it like we always do. Pop back up. Pros, cons, all that good stuff. Let's do it. The Aladdin by Keys. Triple airflow. So, this was what caught my eye when I was out perusing the mean streets of Google. All right, so on the side, you just have Aladdin RDA. On the other side, you have their social media. You got your scratch and sniff. And as you can see, this comes in stainless steel black, rainbow, and other. I went with the stainless steel. Uh, I'm kind of doing that a lot more just because it shows up better on camera. All right, so the back of the box. There is something on here which is phenomenal. You know, I know sometimes you guys don't like when I go over boxes that much. It's not that, you know, it's not very exciting. Well, to me, this is a big, this is a big, big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Um, if you notice right here in this banner area right here, it says 1.25 ohm nichrome 80 coil. So not only do they give us a coil, but they tell us what the resistance is. And for once they tell us the material. So if I can find some like applause, insert applause right here. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, stop. You're too kind. Thank you. Yes. Um, all right, so I'll just let you uh, freeze frame on that if you would like to read everything else on here. Good. Upon opening your Aladdin, you will be met with a card basically explaining everything about the dripper itself. It is a 24 millimeter. Um, it says BF there. Um, you know, it basically, you can use this as a dripper, but it functions extremely well as a squonker. Um, triple airflow, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, freeze frame, check it out. Good. Perfect. For your extras. You will get no cotton with this, but I don't even care because you get your, you know, you get your regular O-rings and all that stuff, stuff that comes with everything else. You get a, a gold 510 pin. Okay, if you notice there's no like threads on it or anything, it's really weird. You just kind of push it up in there. I don't know if I really like that or not. It works, but it's just kind of weird that this does not 
it doesn't thread. It doesn't thread at all. It's just, you just push it up and there's like an O-ring right there and then it stops. But so this is the 510 if you were to drip it. You have a really nice little orange. This will go with your blues. This is a Allen key, which fits the Allen key screws on the deck. O-ring, you get a couple of, uh, you get a couple of grub screws right there. And you know, your typical, you know, O-rings and all that good stuff. But this right here, Behold, they have finally given us a coil which they have named to be Nichrome 80 and they've announced the resistance to be 0.25 which for me that is a pretty good resistance. If you're running on a regular mod, a regulated mod, that's fantastic. You know, if you're running this on a mech, it might be a little cool for you, um, which in that case, you could just take out a wrap. I'm just going to install this how it is, just to see how accurate it is. But yes, hooray for keys for actually giving us a coil and telling us what the fuck it is. Awesome. And here is the Aladdin by keys you can see it on the front of it here you have a I guess it's like a lion's face engraved on the front very subtle and I actually I actually like it I think it looks pretty cool this is the stainless steel rendition Let's see if I can get you a shot on these airflow holes so what made me really intrigued by this was the fact that it had triple airflow. So you have a bottom, you have middle, and you have top airflow. One thing you need to know is that the bottom airflow is not, you cannot adjust it. It is always on. The middle and the top you can adjust, but the bottom is fixed. So, you know, and a good, and also this top airflow you know it's fully open when it's aligned with the bottom. Um, there's on the cap, I'll show you in a minute, but when you pop off the cap, the holes are lined up with the bottom. So you know that this is open when this is lined up. Any degree that you turn it this way or this way, you're shutting it down. So if you don't want the top airflow, you just turn it either way and it's gone. So having a look around the, this guy right here, you will see it does have some nice knurling up top. The top actually spins very nice, super easy to adjust. Now the drip tip, kind of unique here. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter RSA, but it is single coil. Now I always prefer a 510 on single coils. It's just kind of my thing. A lot of people don't like them, especially because um, they're skinny. This right here is a 510 drip tip, but it's got this big kind of wide board that's narrowed out. So if you look at it, it looks like an 810, but it's actually a 510. So it's kind of like a compromise. It's saying, okay, we know there's a lot of you guys out there that hate 510s because of how small, the, where you put your lips on, how small it is. But in my opinion, on single coils, like by far for me, 510s bring out the flavor like so much better. So this is kind of cool for, for everyone that hates 510s because of their size. This is a really cool way to try to get someone to kind of open, you know, kind of open their minds and try it out. And of course it is like an Ultim dual O-ring, snaps right in fits excellent there is a straight shot down the top it doesn't come with anything else this is this is all you get but you know all of your 510s will fit this you know this is not a 10 compatible try it out open your mind you might like the 510 you might see where this dripper in a lot of ways it's kind of it's kind of a compromise it's a single coil in a dual coil body meaning it's a single coil, but it's in a 24 millimeter dripper and it has a 510 that looks like an A10. 
kind of cool definitely unique so this top airflow this cap comes off just like this so you can see the airflow on the top and like I said earlier this airflow directly correlates with the bottom airflow and your cap right here you can see the cutouts so it just goes on top you have dual o-rings right here it fits very nice so when you put it on like that that's wide open and then if you don't want that airiness you just turn it it doesn't matter which way but you know it's open when it's lined up at the bottom so either way shuts it off and then you know you can adjust it you know a little bit open slightly open personally I really love this dripper with this turned completely off just using bottom and side like that so pretty cool on the top how this is constructed it's all stainless steel feels really nice um, these slots you can see that it angles the air towards the center of your drip tip now I will tell you that this airflow adjustment this doesn't really do anything for your flavor uh, once again this kind of also shows that it's kind of like a you know kind of like a compromise uh, single coil it's kind of trying to get dual coil users on board this adds just all this does is just add airiness to it so if you feel like this is too restrictive because these are these are very small airports so it just if you want to add a little bit more airiness to it that's really what this is for it does take down the flavor a little bit but if you're running it on a regulated mod or even on a mech mod all you have to do is increase the power to compensate for that so if you like a more open airy hit you know just increase the power if you choose to you know run this with this open on the bottom so on the bottom is going to say you know aladdin made by keys and you can see that it has the gold plated 510 which does not have threads on it, but it does protrude. And yeah. Well, the hood itself, let's look under that hood first. So as you can see inside of there, it does have some doming action in there. It's it's almost got like a, there's almost like a, a line there though. It's not a smooth, doming action but it does taper in quite a bit you can see this is where your top airflow comes in and it's really not going to do a lot other than just add airiness you know to your hit which will bring down the flavor a little bit but you can totally offset that by you know cranking up the wattage or building it a little bit lower if you choose to use the top airflow um, and the side airflow ports right here you know, these are just straight shots. There's, they're not at an angle or anything like that at all. Um, and then your your bottom airflow is, of course, on the actual deck. It's true bottom airflow. It comes in from the bottom of the deck, so it's not on the cap. You know, some RDAs, you know, we say it's bottom airflow and stuff like that because the slit is right there. But to me, like a true bottom airflow actually comes in from the bottom of the deck and goes up. So that is a look at the inside of this the you know the machining on this again it all looks really good and for the price of this thing too very nice that's what she's got on the hood all right so let us start from the bottom and work our way to the top uh, on the sides here you will see dual o-rings your bottom airflow, which is obviously below your your O-rings right here, and then your side airflow, which will come through these blocks on both sides. This is your positive, obviously. This is a peak insulator, so it just goes right through that. You can see the posts right here. The way that these blocks and these posts are set up, it's kind of similar, um, but on a on a much you know wider scale uh, to the Wasp. You know, these big blocks like this, uh, just it kind of reminds me of the Wasp. One thing I will tell you is that these edges on both these sides, these are extremely sharp. If you're trying to unscrew this thing, and sometimes you have a tendency to grab right here, just be careful because I could see you getting cut. I mean, I grabbed it once like that, and it's 
these points right here are very sharp. Yeah, so just be careful with that. Okay, so if you look down here, this is where it squonks from. There's one on this side and one on this side, and this pin right here basically blocks it. So it distributes you know, your e-juice equally into each one of these wells. Um, I'll try to give you guys a shot of that before I actually place a coil in here, but it does work very nicely. Um, these wells, they're, they're, it's a very deep dripper for a bottom airflow. Now this is a bottom airflow that I would encourage someone if you've never squonked with bottom airflow, this is a pretty good one to learn on. These holes right here, this is what runs to your bottom airflow right here. And you can see that they are really high. I mean, they're almost as high as your side airflow. You know, when you wick this thing, I use quite a bit of, of cotton in here, but I keep it rather thin. I don't stuff it thick. I make my wicks kind of wide to fill all this up. And when you squonk it, it hits the back of your wick. It comes out right there, and then you can just watch it saturate up. If you over squonk it, you'll see, you can see the actual liquid rise up here. And once the liquid rises up here, that's when you're gonna leak. As soon as it gets up to this point, it'll leak. But it's got it's pretty cool. Like if you if you slightly over squonk this, it'll leak down to this bottom airflow. But if you take a rip off of it, it just sucks the juice right back up. So for a bottom airflow RSA, like a true bottom airflow, but worried about squonking with it leaking, this is a very good choice to start and to learn on. Also, when you're placing your coils, initially I placed mine, you know, as close to this post, to this bottom plate right here as possible. But if you do that, you're missing the way that this airflow is angled. You want to keep this up a little bit so that bottom is hitting all of your coil. It's hitting from you know, your side, you know, about the middle of your coil and up. The top airflow, it really doesn't do anything other than just open up your, your, your head a little bit, you know, add a little bit more airiness to it. Your, all your flavor though is gonna come from your side and from your bottom adjustments. I mean, actually your side adjustments, your bottom does not adjust whatsoever. So when you run a coil in here, for me, when I found the best flavor is I have it just a little bit elevated. So it's a little bit higher than both of these posts right here. Now your side airflow, this is not that big uh, of an, port right here. So when you have your top closed off, you can totally just have this side and this bottom together. And to me, that's how I run this thing. That's the perfect airflow. Um, it's, it's not really airy. It's a little on the restrictive side, but for me, where it comes in on the flavor scale, you know, with the 510 on top and with these both wide open, uh, I've been getting excellent flavor off of this. All right, so, and then the next thing on this deck, you'll see where your leads attach to. They give you this handy dandy little uh, orange Allen key. So your, your coils are just gonna slide, the legs of your coils are just gonna slide in there. And then when you screw this down, it will trap Trap your leads. Uh, I've had no problem with this trapping the leads. The screw is actually a little bit, it's located, it's located out further back on this slit. Sometimes if they're located further in, when you go to clamp them down, your lead kind of squirts out the end. So the fact that this is at the very back of it, you know, I've only, I've put in maybe three builds on this. Uh, but I've never had a problem with trapping uh, a coil leg on that at all. So pretty cool. And this is the same, this is the same too on this side. Let me get you a side view of that right there. So you will just want to slide this in. Um, now on your coil orientation, you'll see that you will want to wind this guy clockwise that always leaves this flipped up. So that'll give you the adjustment, just so you can see. 
it sits in here just like that. And you can see that this thing goes in very easy. Once you get this tightened down, just get it in there, tighten it down, and then you can play with you know your airflow. You're gonna want to push it down just, just by habit. You always try to, you know, for me anyways, I always try to get it right down there in that groove, but it actually decreases the flavor. You wanna raise it up just a little bit so that bottom airflow gets a full blast underneath your coil and comes up and then the side airflow hits towards the middle bottom of your coil and then comes up. Um, but you'll see me do all that in, in, the, in the actual build portion of this. But yeah, so it's just a really, it's just in my opinion, this is a very, very cool design deck. It's very different, you know, having three different top, middle, bottom airflow. It's a 24 millimeter, but it's a single coil. Uh, if you see too, how wide this area is, that coil that they give us, that's a three millimeter coil and it's actually looks small in here. You can do a three and a half in here and it actually, your flavor increases. Now, if you're running this on a mech mod though, a th you know, going up to a three and a half, that really messes, you know, with, with your resistance and it ends up being a little bit cooler of a vape. But if you're running this on a regulated de device, try a three and a half, cause it, it, it'll take that perfectly. But you know, on a mech mod, I've been running threes anywhere from 0.2 to 0.25, been getting a great vape off of that. But this also, this is one of those single coils that if you wanted to toss an alien in there or you wanted to run something, you know, in, in the you know, 0.14 range, it's not gonna get crazy hot because the deck itself is 24 millimeters and the height is 34 millimeters. So you're not, you know, generating all that heat in such a reduced chamber. That being said, it's about that time. It's the Aladdin. I think there's a movie. There's a movie called The Aladdin. Hit it.
and that was the Aladdin by Keys. So that is what she looks like on top of the H Cigar DNA 75. I have, well, let's just start off with everything open. So here are all three open. I'm just running it at 45 watts. It has a very, very quiet airflow. Now, the flavor with, that, with the top open right there, it's not good to me at all. So in order to, to, to close this, remember, this just lines up with the bottom airport. So it doesn't matter which way you turn it, you just turn it like that, now it's closed. Now this is just with the bottom and the middle wide open. Flavor is much better. Then again, if you wanted to run, like right now I'm only running this at 45 watts. Turn it up a little bit. I'm 45 watts, I'm getting a really good flavor though. Let's do, let's do 60. 60. Awesome flavor. Okay, so, pros and cons. Start with cons, end with pros, because we like to end on a positive note around here. My only, I really only have, I really have two pros, I mean two cons on this. The first con is the drip tip. Uh, not that it's a 510, but I know that I'm not the only, I know that there's a very few percentage of the people out there that kind of like the hot piss yellow color of Ultim. This is like an Ultimish color. You know, it's not quite as piss color as other Ultim but it still has that piss quality to it. So it would have been nice if they would have added like a black Delrin or something like that. Yeah, you know, a different color. Cause this, you know, some people just fucking hate this and I get it, I'm just weird. So I like, you know, hot piss Ultim, I do. My other con would be on the deck. These, the ends right here on these blocks, on these posts, they're very sharp and you have a tendency to when you're twisting it or you're messing with it to put your hands on there and you only do it once because it's very very sharp and you could easily cut yourself with them so just be careful on that and then the 510 is a little weird in the fact that it doesn't it doesn't have any threads on it but it does protrude i mean you, you push it all the way up there because when it comes it comes with the 510 in so you have to take the 510 out um, when you put the the squonk pin in you, know, you just push it up there and then it just stops and it, it does protrude but there's no there's no threads in there now I don't know if that's gonna lead to anything down down the road but you know f just so you know that's that's kind of weird other than that those are my only two cons on this pros pros on the Aladdin uh, I think it's fucking really cool that you have top middle and bottom airflow even though you can't shut off the bottom, I don't know why you would want to shut off the bottom because that's, you know, bottom airflow. I think we're pretty much all in agreement on bottom airflow and flavor. I mean, bottom airflow atomizers give you tons of flavor. So pro on the bottom airflow, pro that there's all three. Um, pro on the fact that it's kind of like, you know, I keep the, the word compromise comes, just pops in my head. You know, it's kind of designed for someone who's used to a dual coil, a 24, all of that. You know, so it's giving you a 24, it's giving you, you know, a ton of airflow. If you open up the top, it's giving you, a, you know, even though it's a 510, it's giving you a drip tip that feels like it's an 810 as far as like, you know, when you vape on it. So if you got some big old juicy soup coolers, you know, you're not all over the top of your RDA. It just has a lot, they've done a lot of different things on this. So it's a little bit uh, innovative, you know, I, there's not a lot, I didn't see this get a lot of reviews, it didn't really get a lot of, a lot of love, but the flavor on it, you know, that's a huge pro of mine. The flavor on this is really good, really good. And for like, 
You find, I've, I've seen in some places as low as 20 bucks. It looks like they're just trying to get rid of them. I don't think they sold very well. Maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, there wasn't really a lot of hype behind this one. And, and that th these are the type of things that I'm looking for I'm out late at night, you know, all over the internet looking at shit that I don't need to buy, but I still buy it. This one I'm very, very happy with. Uh, Another pro, they gave us a coil finally that not only told us the resistance, but they told us what it was made of. Uh, it's a it's a fuse clapped in, it came out, but, well, yeah, right there. 0.26, said it was gonna be 0.25, 0.26, huge pro on the installation. That was probably as fast, if not faster than the Wasp. I mean, that they gave you, you know, instead of like an actual Allen key, they give you this little screwdriver, and when you set that, that pre-made coil in there, and it's a nice coil too, so that's a huge pro. But when you set that on there, you literally build this thing in like one minute. You could build and wick this thing and vape it in under five minutes, easily. Another pro is how they did that bottom airflow. Uh, it's very hard to leak on this. You know, when I was squonking it, I was just showing you guys squonk coming up, but once you see the liquid come up over that bridge in between the two um, juice wells, you're gonna leak. But when you leak, it tends to just stay down here. So if you squonk it super hard, like right there, I just squonked it crazy hard, and if I tilt it to the side, this will leak, but if you take a vape off of it, it actually sucks the liquid back up. Makes a little bit of a whistly noise when you just have these two open, but the flavor to me uh, is so much better just with the side and the bottom wide open and the top closed off. I think those are all my pros. You know, you got th you have three different airflows, two of which you can adjust. Um, you know, they give you the 510, but they give you, it looks like an 810, so it's not a real small, tiny drip tip. You know, the price on it, the price is nice. I mean, 25 bucks, anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. I'll leave links down below. You know, the machining on it's very nice. I like the fact that the logo on it, you know, it's not anything crazy. It's just a simple engraving and the rest of it. It's just very clean. You know, this is just one of those ones that it didn't get a lot of hype or anything like that. But if you're looking for uh, bottom airflow and something to squonk on, that it's it's pretty hard to actually leak on it. You know, when you first get it, you might hammer it a couple times and leak, but you'll learn really quick kind of where how much you can squonk on it. But yeah, I mean this this is a banging little RDA. It's got great flavor. You could put a 3.5, maybe even a four in there if you're on a regulated, and you could just crank up the voltage. Yeah, I mean, this is, for me, this is something that I will definitely continue to vape on. And for $20 to $30, the price point is awesome. So, that's all I got for you guys. That might have been the fastest review I've ever done. I'm going to try to get this thing done in under 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer than 15 minutes. But, that is that. That's all I got for you guys. So, thank you so much for your comments. Um, I think by the time this goes out, we will be at like 500, which is fucking crazy. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to do something for you guys for 500. I don't know what yet, but we're going to have the month of May. I got a bunch of badass like MCM and mech shit. We're going to have like so much killer shit to review. So I'm going to come up with something fun. But thank you guys so much. Like it's just, I don't know. We got a, such a good group of people here. And I just, like, I don't know. I always say this, but it's because it's true. Like, I absolutely love doing this, and you guys are fucking awesome. So, with everything else going on out there, I don't know. Don't give a fuck. Around here, it's all about vape. Vape shit only. And it's all love. So, I'll catch you on the next one.